Welcome back to Mass Pets. They may be small, but many pocket-sized pets can be just as demanding as their larger counterparts, and in a few cases, even more so. Exotic pets come in many different shapes and sizes, from tigers to tiny rodents. There are some obvious advantages to smaller pets, including that they often need less room to meet their various needs, they are easier and safer to handle, and they are generally less capable of causing serious injury. There's one caveat, however. Smaller exotic pets in general tend to be less mellow and oftentimes may be considered to be less interactive with their owners. This of course can be due to individual opinion. One such example are smaller primates compared to those which are larger. Capuchin monkeys are probably some of the most commonly recognized primates that are kept as pets, and owning one is often described as caring for an inquisitive, high-energy toddler that never grows up. Marmosets are also monkeys, but with much smaller heads and subsequently a smaller brain size, they can seem frantic and less focused in comparison to capuchins. Still, these tiny guys have fascinating behavior and intelligence in a small package. They are not pets for an owner who isn't prepared for the commitment any primate demands. In regards to odor and space demands, the tiny foxes are superior pets to larger foxes like reds and arctics. However, don't let their chihuahua-like appearance fool you. They still have high energy levels and are constantly looking for ways to expel it. Some owners report that smaller foxes like Phoenix can be destructive, so a large space of their own, designed specifically for them, may be best. Big cats are not a good pet for most people, for obvious reasons. There are, however, other exotic cats that, compared to a 250-pound tiger, are tiny in comparison. Cats like servals and caracals will still upend the typical household indoors, and a large outdoor enclosure for them is highly recommended when owning one. There are even smaller exotic cats, however. Asian leopard cats, Joffrey's cats, and sand cats are about the size of a typical house cat or even smaller. However, they tend to be even less interactive with their owners, or even too aggressive to handle, depending on how well socialized they are and what breeding program they descend from. While some may be familiar with the Patagonian Mara, also called the Cavey, which is a large rodent native to South America, very few have heard of the Chacoan Mara. There are only two species in the genus Dolichotis, and the Chacoan Mara, also known as the Dwarf Mara, which has the scientific name Dolichotis selenicola, is a much smaller, rapid-sized rodent. They are currently pretty rare in captivity, but their populations may increase with more captive breeding. Their care is similar to their larger relatives, although their small size makes them easier to accommodate, and they can even be kept indoors. However, they need to be socialized early to have a friendly disposition. There are some pretty huge monitor lizards, with the largest being, of course, the Komodo dragon, which is the largest lizard species on Earth. In the pet trade, animals like the crocodile monitor and the savannah monitor top out at 4 to 8 feet long. These animals are not great pets for beginners or owners who do not want a huge reptile. The Acanthorus monitor, also called the Aki monitor, is a great alternative, and they make excellent first-time monitor lizards as well. These lively little lizards can be housed in a reasonably sized enclosure, and a bite from one won't send you straight to the ER. They may look like rodents, but hyraxes are actually related to elephants. Therefore, in a way, owning one is actually owning a tiny elephant relative, and it goes without saying that they will make better pets than gigantic pachyderms. Hyraxes, which actually have tusks in a similar fashion to elephants, are pretty uncommon in the pet trade, however, and they have very high energy levels. They are probably not great pets for most. What Harry Potter loving child hasn't dreamt of owning a pet owl? The fact is, owls are a ton of work. Even worse, in the United States, some of the few owls currently in the avian pet trade are extremely large and are recommended for only very experienced keepers. There are some owls, however, that are much smaller, easier to handle, and subsequently, have less challenging requirements. 
The white-faced Scoop's owl is not only small, but possesses the unique ability to change its shape, which led to people giving it another name, the Transforming Owl. Even smaller are the European Pygmy Owls. Unfortunately, unless they are imported to the United States, you'd have to live in the UK or Japan to find these species available. The opossums in your backyard are about the size of a small cat, giving them the appearance of a large rat with a white face. There are smaller opossums, however, and these species are also legal in more areas. The short-tailed opossum is often considered to be a more common exotic pet that is good for beginners. These tiny marsupials still need a somewhat spacious enclosure relative to their size, but they can make excellent pets. Alligators and other crocodilians are just not a good choice for the vast majority of reptile hobbyists, simply because they get huge and have teeth to match. Due to this, many people hoping to secure some type of alligator-like animal to keep as a pet consider getting dwarf caimans. However, while much smaller than alligators and crocodiles, these animals can still reach up to 5 feet, making them quite sizable and still not so convenient to house correctly. A bite from a dwarf caiman is also not very pleasant. Finally, there are the toucanets and arasaris. These birds are smaller versions of the much larger and space-demanding toucans of the family Ramphastidae. First-time toucan owners should certainly look into the green arasari, often said to be a good choice for the less experienced softbill keepers. Arasaris are still toucans, however, and they have the same fresh food diet needs that can lead to messy and constant droppings. All toucan species need plenty of room to accommodate their hopping style of movement. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to some of the smaller exotic animals and what caring for them might entail. If you want to see more videos about alternative pets, please subscribe. Also, please like and share this video, and thanks for watching.